there was a podcast interview I was listening to with one of the stars from Party Down, mm -hmm. and you mentioned the word delusional earlier, and he said he looks back on his career now and realizes that if he wasn't delusional at that point, because everyone was telling him, wow, you're doing so great, and he mm -hmm. was telling him that himself that same message, yeah. he would have given up if he had faced the realities mm -hmm. of really where he was, mm -hmm. which is if he had stopped, even though he was getting these you know, under five roles and these different things, no one would have cared. So he said he almost needed that self-delusion to keep going. What do you think about that in a town that you want to puff yourself up yeah. in order to be, you know, bigger is better? Hollywood doesn't always respond well to honesty. Yeah. That, I mean, I think that's a very, very complex question. Um, and there may be some semantics at play there in terms of what we mean by delusional. Um, for me, my my use of the term delusional within the context of nobody filmmaking is is a very practical one. It's once again how much professional leverage you have. So that's my focus. Now, delusional in the more emotional sense, in the sense of self-esteem, in the sense of ability or um, promise. Um, in that sense, uh, sure, I think we all need a healthy dose of that. We all need to believe to a certain degree uh, that we can make it, that we do have enough talent, that we do have enough diligence uh, to make it, whatever that means. Um, to me, making it means I'm a professional. I'm a professional in the film business. I'm a person that a certain number of people think my thoughts and my product is important, my content is worth it to watch and listen to. Um, so yeah, I think on the emotional side, the delusional, um, yeah, I think <laughs> we do need a good healthy dose of that for sure. Um, but obviously not to the degree in which it becomes um, some kind of psychological uh, condition, which exists as you've seen. A lot of people, uh, I mean, I've I've been on. This is the last thing I'll say. I I, I went to, I went to um, a premiere. Uh, my friends had their a premiere of their frit film. They were all nobodies. They were all nobody filmmakers. You know, uh, once again, nobody using my term, uh, my sense of the word. Um, they're important to me. I was there. I was supporting them. But they had, you know, they they had like these random people coming them and interviewing them with the cameras and, but. They they brought these people there. The it's like they created this facade, and I, I think there's a certain point at which when you cross this line of delusionment or delusionalness, whatever the word is, delusion, um, it becomes counterproductive because now uh, you leave behind the what's most important: the hard work, the creativity, the self creation. So if if delusion gets to a point in which you believe um, uh, your own self-invention is going to carry you through, well, you're not doing the work anymore. And I see that a lot. I see a lot of people networking a lot more than they're creating. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm saying. So, yeah. So, yes and no, I guess, to, to the, that notion of delusion. Right. And we were talking earlier today, we did a podcast interview. We were talking about perception, how there's a perception that, you know, certain people even though in the community or even in the media are mm -hmm. one place that uh, things must be so wonderful for them. So uh, what is your perception of people that have crossed over and made it? Do you feel that it's been just, um, it's been a lucky break? How much work do you think it takes to get to that other side? Yeah, uh, I don't believe there is another side. And I believe uh, in, in, the, in any type of popular culture, which is what we're, we do, uh, you have to continually make it. So you are, um, it's like uh, Warhol's 15 minutes of fame. You, I believe you could have numerous 15 minutes of fame, but you need to continue to work hard and uh, uh, create work, reinvent yourself, do whatever it takes be true to yourself, be true to your work, and um, continue to make it. So, you know, you, you can make a film that makes a splash, uh, and that'll take you. It'll snowball a little bit, um, but that snowball is not a self-generating snowball. 
you have to continually be behind it, pushing it. And sometimes a big chunk falls off. You make a dud. You make something that sucks, you know, or you piss someone off and, a, you know, you're back to a little teeny snowball. But once again, you got to be behind it, generating it. So I personally, I'm, I'm not a believer of making it. I believe I'm a believer in creating it, continually building it forever ad infinitum till the day you die. <laughs>